let's go explore this. going to be quite a niche audience. Reese is obsessed with Bakewell tarts, but this is the most ridiculous thing that I think I've ever done. Is it is serious? <laughs> is it? You don't understand because you're not a fan of Bakewell tarts or puddings. You like pudding because if you don't like pudding, I'll just turn it off now. So we've driven all the way to Bakewell in the Peak District to get a Bakewell tart. I went in the shop the other day because I fancied a Bakewell tart. And while I was getting it, I thought, what a great idea. Why don't we drive to Bakewell to get a Bakewell tart? So this is where we are. This is the kind of madness that I have to put up with being married to him. We have to drive all the way down to Bakewell because he wants to buy a Bakewell tart. I don't know where we're going to end up next. There's lots and lots of things that come from different places. Cornish pasties could be anywhere next. A lady called Elizabeth Acton um, asked her maid to do a jam tart um, and the maid got it wrong and ended up putting what should have been included in the pastry onto the top of the tart. That resulted in a Bakewell pudding and then that ended up getting published in Elizabeth Acton's cookbook which was called Modern Cookery for Private Families in 1845. I can't believe that I'm actually giving you a history about Bakewell tarts. It's just that, that it Reese is obsessed with Bakewell tarts, but this is the most ridiculous thing that I think I've ever done. There's also like a National Bakewell Tart Day or something, isn't there? Yeah, developed in 2020. <laughs> so I'll be coming to that. Do you like pudding? Because if you don't like pudding, I'll just turn it off now. <laughs> this is interesting, though. I love Bakewell tarts. Interesting. It depends what your version of interesting is, really, doesn't it? <laughs> to be fair, a history about Bakewell tarts, I'm not sure, is, you know... Do you know when they started putting a cherry on the top of it, out of a tin, it became the cherry Bakewell? <laughs> and she was, what is it all? I can't believe I'm actually this I love stuff. them. I love them. Comment if you, if you like, if you're a fellow Bakewell pudding, <laughs> Bakewell tart lover. <laughs> Let's go explore this. going to be quite a niche audience, isn't it? Just thought all that, and then I just said, oh, I didn't even get one. So... I don't even like them. So... I don't even want one. I've come all this way, and I don't even like them. I'm going to go try one. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, thank you. That's great. Thank you. You got it. They haven't even got one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they haven't even got one. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a raspberry slice. <laughs> you, had, you had massive like ones this big. I'm not going to eat that that big, am I? Like it was a massive like Bakewell pudding, but but it's like a pudding. It's about that. It's about that big, um, and it's about 15 quid. So <laughs> I've got a raspberry slice. <laughs> Where are you going to get a Bakewell tart from now? If you can't get it in the place that's called Bakewell pudding, where are you going to get one from? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hang on, hang on. What about this one? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Maybe there, maybe. There we are. <laughs> Pies, put pies. Here we are. Look. But you can't keep buying a different Pies pudding every time tarts. you go in. It's going to cost us an absolute <laughs> arm and a leg. There it is. <laughs> look. There, is it? Small ice Bakewell tart. But then they've got this pudding as well, Bakewell pudding. Now you don't know what to get now, do you? Which should I get? Well, I don't know. Do you go for the traditional or do you go for the... I'll get that small, small Bakewell pudding. Hello. Um, you've got them small Bakewell puddings in the window. Yeah, just one. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. I've got it. Got it. A traditional Bakewell pudding. I'll have a try of that as well because I don't like them, but I might like that if it's Small not a Bakewell tart. pudding. Traditional pudding made with puff pastry, a layer of jam, and topped with almond custard. 
Take this serious. <laughs> so now, now we're changing. I've driven all the way to Bakewell to get a Bakewell tart, but the traditional Bakewell tart. Now you're full up on a raspberry slice. <laughs> but now I can't. Well, we're having it later with a cup of coffee and what have you. Anyway. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Why? Well, hey, it's very serious. You're not taking it way too seriously. <laughs> it's, it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand because you're not a fan of Bakewell tarts or puddings. <laughs> but to come to Bakewell and to actually get a Bakewell tart from Bakewell, that's that's what it's all about, <laughs> isn't it? Life don't get much better than that, really. There's another one here, look. Pasties and puddings. I ain't even had out yet. Because I don't like flaming Bakewell Well, what tarts. have you come to Bakewell for? <laughs> you <laughs> brought me. <laughs> Do you like leeks? There's a place called leeks. <laughs> I like those um, vanilla slices. No, Bavarian slices. Then with jamming, where do they come from? I don't know. Bavarian I've no slices. idea. Comment if you know where yeah. Bavarian slices come All right, from. I'll have a vanilla slice that, like, if they're in a Bavarian available, I will have a vanilla one. Maybe well, if you know where either of those come from. Maybe that could be a new thing. People, people give us ideas of puddings. And we go and find where they came from. We yeah. Do a history lesson about puddings. <laughs> the pudding channel. <clears throat> Could be a whole new direction. Right, let's explore. Now that we've got that pudding, what is there to do here? Not right a lot from what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> we've come to the wrong shop. <laughs> this is it. This is the old original Bakewell pudding shop. <laughs> Look. The old original Bakewell pudding shop, and there's the they're not they're they're pizzas they're not puddings. Do you not think they're milking it a bit though? Because each one's called the same thing. Yeah, they've just changed the name slightly, yeah. haven't they, on each one? Yeah. Really. And oh I'm... no, this is it. Look, sold here since 1865. Oh well, you bought it from wrong place. What are you going to do? I've got it from wrong place. Never mind. I've got one now. The, the idea was to drive to Bakewell to get a Bakewell tart, so I've done it. Yeah, but you got I've it achieved that. Player. That's an achievement in life. You'll forever have to live with that now. See, you, you lot don't know him like I know him, you see. He just skirted past that like it didn't matter. It didn't matter that he'd gone to the wrong place and got the Bakewell tart from the wrong place. He just skirted past it. I know that give it about three months, it's going to literally bug him so much. We're going to have to come all the way back down here to get a Bakewell tart from the right place. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy with that. That'll I'm be happy. a whole other vlog. That'll be. We drove to Bakewell <laughs> to get a Bakewell tart from the original shop. That's what that'll be. Part two. This will go on Part two. It was a Bakewell tart journey. Oh, it's nice here, though. I'll have a look in here. There is um, an Austrian coffee shop and sausage importer it says here look they do 20 different coffees 15 different teas look at this this is cool isn't it? i don't think it's open today but look traditional austrian snacks that's really good isn't it that this is the strangest place to find in the middle of a, I know, you a traditional english village isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it just feels very odd <laughs> Nice, isn't it? That bath. Proper old kids' bath. We, yeah. used, to, we used to have a bath well, we, well, in front of the fire when we were kids. We didn't have um, a bathroom in our first house. Um, we had Daisy, no. 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 Give up, give up. Um, we didn't have a bathroom in our first house. We had um, a bath in front of the fire, but we used to get washed in the washing up bowl because we didn't have a tin bath. <laughs> So there's at least two markets on today, um, by the looks of it. We think this is a different market anyway. Uh, there were one further down there, um, sort of selling clothes and stuff like that. This is more antique. Yeah, and this is more like second-hand antique stuff by the looks of it, which is cool. But yeah, if you like markets, there's definitely markets here. 
Oh wow. Oh yeah, they do smell they smell really nice. Nice. Traditional French soap. Oh wow, they smell absolutely gorgeous actually. They're nice, they look nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Bakewell is lovely, it's really nice. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's got a really nice safe place where you can just come and browse in the shops and relax, I guess. It's a really relaxing place just to have a totter about kind of place, you know. Um, Bakewell Tart Shop, 25 metres this way, there it is. Another Bakewell Tart Shop. Um, but no, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? Like really, yeah, nice, really nice feel it's to like, it. Yeah, it's a lovely little village. peaceful spot to just sit and get away from the hustle and bustle of the town. Just walked up into like the church cemetery overlooking the rooftops. Um, you can imagine like every chimney kind of bustling with smoke in times gone by. Bakewell has a lot of history and um, going back to the Saxon times. In this graveyard they've actually got the remains of a Saxon cross. This church is actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book apparently. If you're enjoying this content guys and you think you'll enjoy our channel um, just take a moment to subscribe and hit that notification bell it just lets you know when we put an episode out and it also really really helps our channel to grow so we really appreciate it let's carry on exploring so one thing you might miss when you come to Bakewell is the Bakewell House Museum which is a Tudor building from the 1500s Unfortunately we couldn't go in that museum because it's shut but it is museum of the year when it's open. I think it's open March to November so that's a shame. Daisy, you're been good past these ducks. Aren't you been good? Yeah. So this bridge is um, called the Lovelock Bridge, I think, and you basically write a message on a padlock and then put it on the bridge. Um, there's one of these in Ibiza, isn't there? Yeah, but they have to, in Ibiza, they have to literally go around and take all the locks off every few years because it weighs down the bridge to the point where it's dangerous. Um, but here it looks like they've kept yeah, them all on there's, you know maybe they don't get as maybe they don't get as busy because like Ibiza that it gets really full doesn't yeah. it after a few years and then they have to take them all down again check oh. it out no don't back at the duck don't back at the duck oh. no, I'm actually buying there's a little um, there's a little place um, in town somewhere that I saw and you can buy them and get them engraved and it must be that must be these ones I think that because they're all the same. Look at all these. How interesting is this? Is that 2015? My mum actually, um, my mum actually left the lock here with my uncle um, years ago. She says I'll try and find it if you go there. Yeah, I don't think there's, that'll happen. There's about 20,000. <laughs> been talking to um, a local person here that says they're on about taking all of these down and um, which would be a real shame because quite a lot of them have been put on in memory but you can understand I mean the weight must be a lot of weight on this bridge additional to what it's meant to have um, and there's no room for any more they've literally they're stacking them like all the way up on the on the hinges and everything there's literally no more space for any of them but it would be a shame if they did take them down they're memories aren't they
We're going to head back to Romany now. Romany, our little van, gets uh, get the Gretel on, get a brew, yeah. get some lunch. It's always nice to get back in van when your feet are hurting. That's the beauty of having a van and travelling in a van. Is, uh, you've had a, a wander around, you've had an explore, and then it's back in. I nearly sat on that bacon pudding there. Back in, <laughs> yeah. back in the van for a coffee and some dinner. Dinner for little Daisy. Some dinner for little Daisy. Do you want some dinner? Do you want your din din? We've got a brew. We've got a. It's bacon pudding. No. Uh, it does look like a bit of a mistake, doesn't it? That is like a. I don't understand though how that were developed and then it went from that to a bakewell tart. It looks nothing like a bakewell tart, does no. it? Right, do we need a knife then to cut it? Don't really, does it? Be careful, these new IKEA knives I know, are really they're sharp. Lethal, so Go sharp. My leg. I'm only going to try a little bit because I don't like bakewell pudding, bakewell tarts. I don't know if I like this. Well, it's Bakewell pudding. I know, but... The original Bakewell tart. Yeah, but not from the original place. I know, what a nightmare. What a mess. Just try a little bit. Don't to waste it. Oh, no. You don't like it after all that. <laughs> it's even worse than a Bakewell tart. I think it's like a cross between an egg custard and a Bakewell tart. Oh, jam's in bottom though, isn't it? No, I like it. It's not quite a bakewell tart. Um, but it, yeah, I can see what you mean. It is like an egg custard. I, I should have got the bakewell tart. <laughs> I might go back and get one. Are you regretting it now? Are you regretting your I'm decision? I'm not regretting it because it's nice, but it's not as nice as a bakewell tart. <laughs> and the bakewell pudding. Um, probably score it 6 out of 10. As when normally I score bakewell tarts a 10 out of 10 every time. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy it though with my brew. Oh, you look so disappointed. I am, I think, a bit disappointed, <coughs> yeah. Just because I think it doesn't have a cherry on top. That's, it's, like, that's that's the first thing. Do you know what your face reminds me of? When what? you tried a Cornish pasty in Cornwall. Oh, yeah. And you were absolutely gutted, gutted, weren't you? I was you... gutted, all that way. But no, it's nice. It's nice. A bit pastry -y. But it's nice. That's it from us for this week. Um, we're going to continue to uh, explore the Peak District. Um, so we'll catch you next week. And don't forget, write your own story.